make some gloss with me. I'm starting off with this DKB base. Um, I don't think, I think we got like a drop out of this. I, I just wanted to get like every last drop out of this because it comes two packs of these for $15. I think we're just going to start getting the big bags. I think I've definitely been through more than five, but less than 10 of these. But we literally got like one drop out of it. The scale didn't even move. That's how much we got out of it. But don't worry, I got a new one. And then now we're just going to do this like normal. You know, I like to do about 20. It, it will say like 20 on the scale, I think. I don't know. Coconut oil. Um, there was something weird in like the measuring cup, so I didn't use it. I just eyeballed it. And this is how it came out. I think I've mastered this formula today. Like it's not runny like a lip oil. Like it used to be like, look at that drizzle. It looks so cool. Next, I'm doing this TKB mixed berry kind of thing. It's scented and it's colored. So it, it gives like a purple kind of tint to the gloss. But it doesn't really show up on the lips. It's definitely like different than the crystal clear gloss that is that I make. But it's def it definitely gives like a little tint to the lips. As you can see the tint in there. It's, it's a little bit different than the... Just a clear gloss. Again, don't have any pipettes going in with the syringe. Um, yeah, I should probably go work on that. I'll go on Amazon, I think. Then I'm putting it through the tube. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys this. My hand was blocking away, but yeah. I'm currently writing down all my formulas just to make sure, you know, for every gloss measuring out the pigment so I get it right every time. I actually decreased my formula. That's why this red bowl is a little slightly different. Putting the stopper on and lit, and here she is. 